I started selling on Amazon about 11 years ago and within the first few weeks, we had one sale that stood out like over all of them. We sold this toy weather set for $100. The thing is, that wasn't the price that we wanted to sell the product at. It was just kind of like, as stuff got in stock, it was just our default price was $100 to let our repricer go. But we found that like, if we were the only person selling this product, some people would buy it at whatever price. That's the power of Amazon, the traffic that's there. And if you have the product that people want, there's sometimes it's price insensitive. It doesn't really matter. So that's the point of this video. We're gonna talk about out of stock products. We wanna find out how to find them. And ultimately you can kind of dictate your own price. And this can be one of the most profitable categories for you. But first, thanks for jumping on the channel. My name is Scott Needham. I've been an Amazon seller for 11 years. I, one of my reselling businesses did over $400 million in revenue. I kind of know the business. Uh, this business was called Buy Boxer, and uh, some years we did over 60 million in revenue. But also, I build software. My tool is Smart Scout, and we have designed specific features that are gonna jump into out of stock products. So, Let's jump in the tool. I'm gonna to show you two ways that you could find out of stock products. Okay, so let's jump over to the brands tool. I'm gonna to search uh, for Lego. I type them in and all these brands that are kind of like Lego, but no, let's click on the real brand Lego. Let's click on to the products tab. Uh, so out the gate, Smart Scouts found 5,900 Lego products. Uh, we got some that are rank one. We got some that are rank, you know, uh, 1500 and like there's a lot of revenue that's going on. But as you see all these columns, some of them are gonna stand out. Number of sellers. Um, here's this out of stock column. This is where if we've, the last time we observed it in the last two weeks, if it's been out of stock, we just check this as yes. This checkbox means if, if we have observed it in the last two weeks that it is out of stock, we're gonna say yes, it's out of stock. So I'm gonna click through and filter out of stock. Yes, here we go. These are products that are out of stock. So let's just click on this first one, City Coast Guard. Uh, sure enough, no one is selling it. If you look at the price history on this product, uh, we, can, we can look at the price history right here. We will find that the price has only gone up over time and its sales rank has deteriorated. So if you could find this product, you could sell it for $76, guaranteed. It used to sell for $20. So it looks like this might be discontinued, but I bet you there's pockets on the internet where you could find this and you know you can consider online arbitrage with uh, through eBay. But it's been in stock as recently as uh, January 5th. Looks like it's stocked out. Now let's go back to another product. Here we go, another one. Uh, I don't know this Lego product, but it's out of stock. You can find it, you can hop on over to eBay. Uh, I've seen, we've had many users of Smart Scout that have arbitraged. Lego's not the only brand, they're just the brand that I'm, I'm highlighting because they always have a lot of out of stock products. I just know that about them. Um, there's another way to, to get to this. Let's say we don't want to look at this checkbox. This is one way. The other way is, is number of sellers. I want to go to number of sellers and I want a maximum of zero. Again, this is just another way of out of stock. It's going to pull up a few different things. Maybe they've been out of stock longer than two weeks. Uh, that will uh, pull up. You know, I see uh, Star Wars. This is probably going to be a name your price. Someone will pay whatever you have. Um, for this. Looks like this one is, has, is out of stock on just this variant, the frustration free packing. So um, interesting because we see the standard packaging. You'll, have to, you'll want to watch out for that. Sometimes we find the out of stock variants. Um, and, but how about this? What about products that have only one seller? You know, this is, it's so few competition that you basically can you only have to price out one person. And with that, you usually have a lot of success. So, oh great, this is a great um, example. You know, rank 1300, there's only one seller on that product. This is rank 4800, where we're seeing $73,000 of revenue. 
I mean, if you have 100 units here, you're gonna sell this out be before long. Um, looks like Amazon is the seller. So, um, you know, you may wanna throw on some more filters of like, let's get rid of the ones with a lot of Amazon. Let's do a maximum of 4%. Interesting, okay. Again, you know, we're seeing some products that have $20,000 in sales and there's only one seller. So you get to be one person. Uh, they could, this could stock out. I'm not seeing any sellers here. I mean, Lego's its own category. We can get lost in there. Let's, let's find, let's look at one other way that you can use Smart Scout to find out of stock products. Maybe that's not necessarily centered around a brand. Let's jump into the products tool. So if I just click, if I just refresh the products tool, um, there's a few million products, but if I check the box out of stock, yes. We're going to see SmartScout is tracking 346,000 products that are out of stock. And here's what I want to do. Um, I want to figure out a category. Let's do, um, well, we were in toys. Let's jump back into toys. And then I'm going to sort by rank. Whoops. I'm going to have products that are a variation. I don't want any variation pages. It's just easier. Here we go. You know, you, you can look at these brands ringside. If, if they start, if any of them, you know, you know any of these brands, Funko, I know this brand really well. You know, this Chevy Chase Christmas Vacation Funko product, I think that's gonna sell really well. Um, fans of the movie will certainly love this. As you know, like you don't have to use all these filters that I just showed you, but the more you use, the easier it is to kind of laser in on, on what you have access to with your supply in categories that you know. So SmartScout is a free trial. You can jump in and, and poke around. We have a coupon code for this channel. It's SMART2024. This is part of a lot of videos that we are doing to help Amazon resellers, uh, wholesale specific sellers that are buying from wholesalers. And so please check out our other videos if you wanna continue learning. We also have a conference called AMZ United that we do once a year where we meet and we have uh, several hundred professional Amazon sellers and talk about the best tactics. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, you know, you can reach out to me, scott at smartscout.com. Let's become friends. Well, you can just ask questions, I'll answer it. Uh, thanks, make sure you like and subscribe. And that's the video and we'll see you on the next one.